Hey, this is Amy from Spunky Dogs, and this week's video is four tips for Leave It. Tip number one is as much a rule as a tip, and that is that your dog never gets the Leave It item. So what I'm showing you here is what Leave It is not, but probably what most of us think it is. Leave it and then get it. Leave It is for never, ever, ever items like chicken bones, dead rats, or goose poop. You want your dog to completely forget about this object, not stare at it and think really hard about when they will get it. Like they might do with a reward at the end of a stay. Which is what I'm showing here with Carl. The leave it item is not a reward, so train it so that your dog never ever gets it. Tip number two is to give your dog something to do after leaving it. Dogs almost always respond better to being given instruction than to be just told not to do something. And leave it should be no different. So you want to train this so that your dog engages with you or follows you after leaving it. So when teaching this, include attention or following you away from the leave it item as part of the exercise. Tip number three is to set up scenarios in which your dog gets to make a choice and chooses the correct one, which is leave it. This can be as simple as not giving your dog quite enough leash to reach the leave it item, or just to put the item out of reach entirely. What it isn't is jerking or pulling your dog on the leash, or using other intimidation tactics. That's for two reasons. The first is that most of the time your dog is going to find the leave it item before you even know it's there. And then secondly, because our goal is to have your dog off leash. I mean, that's what leave it is mainly for, so that you can stop your dog from doing something when you can't pull it away with the leash. So while teaching this, you can use the leash to limit your dog's movement. But if you're doing a lot of physically manipulating or jerking your dog with the leash, it's going to be harder to translate to off-leash work. Tip number four is to practice this in the real world as quickly as possible. If at all possible, try to train this organically on your regular leash walks. Incorporating this into your regular routine with your dog will be a lot easier for you and will also get you to your training goals much quicker. So there you have it. Four tips for leave it. Your dog never gets the leave it item. Make your cue instructional and give your dog something to do afterwards. Set your dog up to make the right choice and practice in real world scenarios as quickly as possible. Thank you for watching and happy training.